libertus. I'm sure you can guess what that means. It's very close to a word in our own language. It's the Latin word for what's now close to my heart on my chest, liberty. The Roman Empire was one that influenced our government's uh, forming, well, how our republic is made. The eagle is even a symbol common in both to symbolize our liberties and our freedoms. But like anything, some people would desire more freedoms. In the Roman times, it was a lot more violent with the rebels Spartacus trying to gain freedom. In our days, luckily, it's a lot less violent. This is the symbol of the Libertarian Party, which a lot of you might not have heard about. I didn't hear about it until about my freshman year in high school. I had always identified myself as an independent because I didn't go with either the left or right wing in politics. I found myself nestled right in the middle. And the symbol of the Libertarians is a porcupine because it bothers no one that does not attempt to bother it. Now then. Some statistics about the other parties, mainly the powerhouse factions. Their score would be an F minus. They have a 17.4% approval rating in Congress right now. That's atrocious. Now then, the Libertarian Party is all about freedoms in both economy and in your personal lives. Unlike where the Democratic side would only want to side with the, I agree with, uh, they'd only want to side with Voltaire, the uh, personal freedoms, Libertarians would be somewhere right in the middle. Now, for social freedoms, I decided to talk about the two largest known ones, which would be the right to marry and marijuana. When it comes to marriage, libertarian view is do as you please. That's actually the viewpoint on a lot of things. As long as you don't interfere with the rights of another person, libertarians believe that you have the right to do so. And that goes with marijuana as well. You're not hurting anyone, about the only thing that you're messing with is someone's sense of smell if they happen to walk into it. Now, economically, might seem a bit harsh, but the free market holds people, well, holds corporations more accountable for their actions as well as allowing them to grow. So, it compromises a bit. The picture on the right is something that I'm sure you've all seen. That was from the BP oil spill. That would, well, corporations are a lot more accountable than a country. The corporation that was held accountable for that is British Petroleum. Now, in a free market, they are held a lot more accountable because there's a lot less government involvement than it was all them. You wouldn't just start a war put a trade embargo on a country because of some accident. But with one specific corporation, like it was this, British Petroleum, they lose a lot of business and have to pay a lot of reparations. Now then, the Libertarian Party is classified as a third party. That is anything that's not really mainstream. They are the largest party, well, third party, and the political stage now is currently set up mainly for the larger two parties. There are Libertarians and Green Party and Socialist, whatever party you want to name off. They do exist and are in Congress, but they usually line up as a Republican or a Democrat just for the votes. One example would be Ron Paul, or Rand Paul, his son who's a lot less extreme. He actually, I didn't have time to put it in here because it just recently happened, he released a new act, the Careers Act, 
which it actually aligns up with the uh, both social freedoms and economic freedoms from earlier. Uh, the dawn of libertarianism is something that comes at the twilight of the liberal and conservative condition. There's constant bickering between both sides. It doesn't get much done. As the approval rating has shown, people don't really like that. Now, when you have something that agrees that both are important, you need to... It shows that a need for change needs to happen. Now then, this is uh, economic reasons again. This is uh, the no bailouts thing. When it comes to bailouts, the Libertarian Party doesn't want anything. If The reason why is failure should be allowed. And I'll cut to the end here. Freedom has been won through countless battles across the ages and across the globe. It's ours to defend, to improve, and it belongs to those who have inherited it. And that's just a picture that I thought was kind of cool.